Hello Libra. Happy Friday. Welcome to your reading. Let's see what's going on with you Libra. I have a lot of downloads. A lot of downloads. Okay, so first download I do have was bread and fish. Okay, um, and it was kind of coming up like what Jesus did to the loaves of bread and the fish, how he multiplied them. Um, so that's multiplying. There's something that the message that I'm getting is there's something that you can do with just a little bit. If you were to trust and have faith and also have the wisdom and discernment on what to do with the little, the little that you have is really abundance because the little can create abundance. Just like one little seed, it can create a big tree that if you keep on nurturing that tree, it creates an abundance of fruit. There's some, somebody is looking at what they have as little, but actually they can actually really, really multiply if they were to, you know, have the wisdom and discernment to know how to do so. And then have trust and faith. I also got this like vision of like a fish, speaking of fish, seeing lots of fish, but a fish running through a school of fish. Okay. Um, almost like panicking, almost like busting through a crowd and keeps on going the other way. And the school of fish is just looking like, what the heck is going on? I don't know why this fish is running in a panic like that, but it runs through a panic. Normally you don't see a fish go through a school of fish. And I feel like it just, it came up with the school of fish of so showing how organized something is. How something is in order and somebody's panic or somebody running in a panic gets the whole school completely uh, out of order. <clears throat> I'm also getting the energy that somebody has, a, somebody gets an amazing opportunity to go to a new place and experience a, a luxurious life. But fear stops them. Fear kicks in right when you don't want it to. So somebody is on a cycle of learning about how fear cripples them from experiencing a lot of different things. This is an amazing opportunity that comes from you. Something is from the universe. And the person, they listen to them thoughts in their mind. They listen to those negative thoughts and fears. And it cripples them and it stops them. Because they're scared. And this is all old. For some of you guys, this may be old. For some of you guys, you are thinking of old stuff. You're thinking of a whole, you're thinking of a whole bunch of old stuff. Um, or you are making up fears that don't even exist and you're just being real crafty. The crafty, creative person that you are, you're making it up to, just to stop yourself from doing something. Or you make it up to stop yourself because this person, the, op the outcome for that was being stopped. Being stopped by fear. For some of you guys on a brand or scale, this could be you being very, really, really anxious to do it. And you're really, really anxious. If you're anxious, you haven't been there. You just got the news that you are really, really anxious. And you're very, very excited for this to take place. Also, um, there's a person who forgives a very, very awful person. Um, somebody who does something very, very awful. And not only do they do something awful, they cause you to miss an opportunity, a grand opportunity, just by this awful thing that they did. So not only does a person do something awful, but they also make you miss out on a grand opportunity. Now, this person who forgives is sitting there like the most peaceful person in the world. This person who forgives, they're sitting there like the most peaceful person. They're happy. I feel like this person understands that that person couldn't take them, couldn't take anything away from them. That person couldn't hurt them with the awful thing that they did. They could not block their opportunity. And so they're able to forgive this person. So I feel like the bigger message here is as long as you're thinking that a person 
can hurt you in an awful, awful way. Or as long as you're thinking that a person can or did stop um, a grand opportunity for you or you're blaming a person, then it'll be harder for you to give. But once you understand that the person cannot, um, whoever this person is that's forgiven, they're very, very abundant. They're very, very abundant, whoever this person is that's forgiven this other this awful human being. Like somebody would classify them as an awful human being. Like they did like the unforgivable. You forgive a person for doing the unforgivable. And you still sit in your abundance like you're unbothered. Okay. I got my little notes. <laughs> my next download is there's some soulmates that's going through... An unfortunate, unfortunate cycle. Cycle that is just not, it's not the lovey-dovey uh, cycle that you initiate, that you initially, you know, signed up for. It's something else. Things are out of your favor. Things are happening out of, not even your favor, things are happening out of the bond's favor. What everything that they would want to happen is not happening, and exactly what you don't want to happen is happening. Which can mean one thing: you're you're, you're focusing too much on the negative of a situation. You give too much energy to the negative and not, not and not enough energy to the positive. Period. Don't give enough energy to the positive. Um, the positive things you have enough. You have so much energy for the negative things, and sometimes we have to check ourselves, right? Sometimes we think about the, the positive things and we're like, oh, yeah, that's good. But the negative things, you yelling, screaming, you got so much energy. And it seemed like you weren't that energized when the positive thing happened. Um, but this this cycle is in order for a person to gain wisdom, probably in the sense that you are focusing too much on the negative things that happen in a relationship. And this would be each party focusing in on the negative attributes of the other person. So everything that you don't like about how that person contributes to the relationship is happening. And it's not that it's happening. It's normal. It's a cycle that this person has to work through. But the fact that you are putting so much emphasis on it, it's making it so big that that's the only thing you can focus on. Um, There's also a person who comes back fast. It's, it's giving a quick turnaround. Person comes back fast to give you their flowers because they can't stay mad at you for long. They can't have you thinking that they don't appreciate you. It's a magnetic attraction. They can't have you thinking that they don't appreciate you. They can't have you thinking that they don't really care about you. They can't sit you there thinking that too long. Now, they probably will sit you there, but not too long. Okay, and this is a fast, real, real quick. Um, also Empress, my Empress, my Empress loves, the Empress is feeling real, real insecure, okay? There's some Empresses that's feeling very, very insecure. Note, I didn't take your crown from you, okay? You're still an Empress. Okay, so there's an Empress that's feeling very insecure and, um, she's insecure in her ability to give life and love to people and things. Yeah, she's questioning her own God-given ability. And I feel like the Empress is realizing that certain things that she gave life and love to, it didn't quite grow in her favor. So she's kind of looking back at her love, just like you would say, if you were to plant some seeds and something's not growing, you would say, okay, what's going on with the actual seeds? Now, nothing's going on with the Empress's seeds, but that's just a logical thing to do. Um, is to look back and say, maybe there must be something wrong with, what I'm doing. So while the Empress is going through this insecure dull moment, not being able, the, the, the scenery is the Empress not being able to see the light, to see the positivity in things, not being able to see her growth. That means that the Empress has her eye on a particular era that uh, on a particular area that she wants to see growth in. And if she doesn't see growth in that area, she just like, I failed. Forget the whole forest that you grew in other areas. It's just, if I can't do this one thing, then I failed. All I wanted to do was this one little thing and I, I failed. The Empress has her eye on something that she really wants to grow. And it's growing, but it's growing in a way that she can't see it. 
So she cannot see the light. She can't see the positivity. She can't see the love. She can't see the life in something. All she can see is the death. All she can see is her failures. So there's a person who's counting their failures more than they're counting their blessings. And it's, it doesn't get over. The Empress is dealing with all of that. My Empress is dealing with all of that, okay? My Empress loves. I'm dealing with all of that. And here comes a wannabe. And the wannabe sees the Empress is off her game a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Empress hates that when her crown is a little sh shifted. And another person can see it. And instead of fixing the crown in silence, guess what this wannabe going to try to do? You already know. Still your shine. The Empress, the, the, the wannabe is going to try to profit benefit off of the empress being in a time of darkness which is sad but it happens if you don't if you think that you know jesus had to go to the uh the desert he didn't take everybody with him because when you when you're so powerful everybody can't see you down so this just lets me know that there's a person who you let see your crown shift You let this person see your crown shift. You let this person see this you as human. Some people don't. So, so some people don't don't need to see you as human. You know, some people you just need to stay larger than life. Then, and it definitely needs to be a boundary of us and them type shit. <clears throat> Somebody's having good sex. On a Friday, a freaky, freaky Friday. But the wannabe thinks this is the perfect opportunity for them to get some type of attention, for them to come out and, you know, get some type of attention from whoever to get the Empress's shine. Uh, we have mutual sexual chemistry between you and the person. We have somebody swimming in success, and then I said somebody's having some good sex. Also, I do see somebody is spending a lot of time alone. Um, somebody's spending a lot of time alone, but they're in their empress energy. Speaking of the empress, but they're in their empress energy, and they're birthing things. And they could also be pregnant, but they really like birthing things. They're very, very creative, stuff like that. So maybe the empress... I feel like maybe there's an empress that could be around a wrong crowd. If you feel like you your crown is a little shifted, if you feel like you can't possibly see the light and what it is that you're doing, you're having a hard time seeing your own positivity, seeing how things are working out in your life, then right now it might be time for you to get away from a certain amount of people. For some of you guys, you know exactly who these people are. What was that? Sending love to all my empresses out there. And emperor, emperor, if this is you, you're switching the roles and this is you. Not being able to see your ability to protect and provide and secure and lead. Because the things that you did lead fa failed. All right, we have a mighty enemy near. Somebody got the key to something. Somebody has the key to something. And there's a mighty enemy that knows that you have the key. But in order for you to unlock the safe, there needs the tower needs to take place. And in this tower needs to take when this tower takes place, there's something inside of you that changes. So really it's the change, but it's it, it has to happen with the tower because it's going to be a paradigm shift. 
So there's a mighty enemy that knows that you have the key, but the safe is buried up underneath the tower. And in order for you to get to the safe, to unlock potential, unlock success, unlock wealth, unlock abundance, the tower has to crumble in, in order for you to access the, the safe. It's no other way for you to access the safe. And there's a mighty enemy that knows that. Maybe a, the presence of a mighty enemy could kind of be confirming something for you. You have all the honor and all the recognition. It's like you are the one, you are the one to do the job or you're the one to do something or you're the one to, I guess, open the safe. You are the one. We did have a lot of energy about being chosen. So... Chosen one. You are the chosen one to open the safe. However, you must change your belief system about something. So what are your beliefs? And what belief system keeps you further and further away from the safe? You got the Ten of Cups, ultimate happiness. Somebody is being loved for exactly who they are. In the midst of their failures, this could be for the Empress. <laughs> Someone needs to, you need to love yourself exactly for who you are in the midst of your failures. It's like the failures are leading you to success. Someone has also been afraid of, of, of this clarity. Somebody is also like, somebody needs to be around their people. There's some people around you that loves you no matter how many times you fail. This could be family. This could be people who you work together with. This could be friends. No matter how many times you failed, there's a person, there's people who still uh, love you. They love you regardless of if you fail or if you do well. Where's Libra's current energy? Thank you, thank you, thank you. The world. Connected. Big happy family. Somebody's family is about to expand. Victory, wow. Victory, a woman holding a coin. Somebody's family is about to expand. Somebody has some really, really good news. There's happiness. There's um, you have a thanking man with a woman with, with a woman holding a coin. Um, I also feel like you're about to step into another phase of your life. So you're getting ready. You got blossom in abundance. You're getting ready to step into another phase in your life. What's going on with Libra on a spiritual plane? All right, we got the six chakra, Archangel Metatron, having a lots of visions, visions. Somebody's going in between thinking to anxiety. First things with start up, I'm just thinking about something, then you in a whole like anxiety, you're freaking out. Um, Somebody could be having an anxiety, I don't want to say attack, but it's a moment in life. It's a moment. I, I don't know. Is it an anxiety cycle? But it's a time where you're just heightened. You can't sit down. You can't stop thinking. You could be going into like addiction, coping met methods more than you normally would. Um, and somebody is going through that type of cycle. 
right now you're getting some vision visions and we do have the safe and the sun with the safe this is visions of abundance that's coming to you this is making you anxious we do have this community here there could be some some type of community that you're working with a collaboration or something like that you're very very anxious about this collaboration there's some abundance coming towards you what's going on with libra on the physical plane physical plane we got rest physical plane you just seem very real tired some of you guys you may seem just very very relaxed just restful that's crazy how the body is reacting that's like me. Like, I can look into a person and be like, oh my gosh, you're so calm, cool, and collected. But inside my brain, what's happening inside my brain is like I'm jumping off the walls. I'm just holding it together. That's what I feel like somebody else could, could do. Um, on the physical plane, though, there is this energy of peace. There's this energy of resting. We still have this journey here. Um... But there's this energy of peace. There's a journey. So a contract is about to take you on a journey. There's also a deeper commitment here. Um, we have the sun. The energy of the sun is all over. High energy. Somebody's going to be signed in the contract. You're going to be so excited about something. What message do we have for Libra and love? Oh, the door is open to personal happiness and healing. Somebody's all tied up in something or somebody was all tied up. Yeah, you got storm warning all tied up. Somebody could have definitely, yeah, I about to say somebody could have been dealing with the, uh, Somebody was dealing with a liar. Somebody is being deceived by other people about a liar, uh, about a person. Yeah, the angel of love is here. So somebody is being deceived. You were deceived about a person. So you were deceived. You, you got the wrong thing about a person. Um... The wrong idea about a person because of a community. And this would be a, a community that don't really like you too much. Libra. So they're trying to tell you that like, oh, that's person. They're bad. It remind me of Jay-Z. Please don't like him. He's no. <laughs> he don't like him. He one nights him. So she don't like him. She never met him. Rupus try to take advantage of him. He won't let him. He don't. <laughs> so it's somebody who, somebody has been, uh, there's a person who's been painting an idea. This could be you. Somebody has been painting a narrative about you or you. somebody has people, not somebody. So it's easier to believe if multiple people are saying the same thing. That's the biggest trick in the book. Get multiple people on your side. It gets to blend the truth a little bit. That's why everybody confused because you got so many people believing this, so many people believing that, so many people. Anywho, um, there's there's a lot of people who are telling you, painting a narrative about a, a person, or painting a narrative about you, and a person probably haven't even met you yet. Before they even really, really met you, before they got to know who you are. So it's like, okay, is it this person? Or is it the person that I'm getting to know? Who's the real person here? What message do we have for Libra in career, business, and finances? The healer of all ages. Ooh. Somebody's going to be like, 
a healer of all ages. Somebody could be a healer. Somebody could be getting healed. Finances could definitely be getting healed. It's just like the angel of love is over your finances too. Okay. Yeah. Door to spirit. Door to romance. 32, 33. Consecutively. Right after the other. The door is open in spirit. The door is open in romance. You got a broken heart. Okay, so it heals a broken heart. So, okay, so your heart is going to get healed too. Yeah, doors are open. Doors open in, in love too. Okay, so your heart is going to get healed too. And also with like finances too. Business too. Something is also teaching you a lesson. I'm also getting like something's a spiritual teacher. What does Libra need to be on the lookout for today? The thinking woman. Contract. Be mindful of this thinking woman who's trying to deceive you. Yeah, so there's a person who has these under the surface, what I want to say, hidden secret animosity. This person has the secret animosity against you and they're trying to deceive you. They actually have some type of hostilities. They're actually thinking about how to fire back, how to get back at you, how to one up you, how to compete, how to do how to do something that just isn't rooted in love, compassion, beauty, everything that they're showing on the outside. But deep within their heart, be mindful of that. Somebody's heart isn't pure. You are the magician in the mirror. And you don't know that yet. You have so many different, you can have, you got so many di different options at your fingertips. Like you can have whatever it is that you want. All right. It's coming towards Libra attachment. Mm. It's a mask that you have to wear in order to stay in a close, connected relationship. Somebody is fearing taking off their mask because they fear if they take off their mask, they lose the relationship. And there's a person who's willing to play whatever role they need to play as long as they can stay in this relationship. You're all tied up. It's a storm warning. The angel of love is telling you that this is not going to end well. Angel of love is telling you that there's a need for you to be free. Because, oh, the man is holding the coin. So there's a person who would do whatever because a man is holding the coin or they feel like a man could provide or could be some type of assistance or something like that. And they're playing whatever type of role. Now... If this is you, you have made this person believe that you really care about them when you really don't. You're just there for the benefit. Yeah, somebody's just there for the benefit. That's why they're playing the role, hurting themselves. Putting up with some type of suffering. But something's not going to end well. Alright, ancestors, what messages, do, what messages do you have for us? Since you can see further than we can, what guidance can you give us on this journey? If I could say it, if I could even get it out. That's how pressed I am for a message. The door to romance is open. Got this care and connection.
There's a need to, for you to speak. There's a need for you to speak your mind. Got a lot of doors open for you. The door to romance is open. The door to personal happiness and healing is open. And the door to spirit is open. Like you got the whole, it's like almost like you got the whole world ahead of you. Got the angel of strength with you too. But there's a door to romance that's open. This is like love. This is a time of love. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave it right here. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.